Hello, my name is Bob Anderson. I'd like to talk to you about a good friend of mine, Morali Chamatori. I met Morali about, let's say, 14 years ago. We were both in the information technology field. I was in a consulting business, primarily working with the outsourcing of computer application support, as well as project management of software development projects. And Morali was also in that same line of work, principally in software development, software development practices, quality control, quality assurance, project management, etc. So we, we begin to become acquainted on LogMeIn. And after a while, Morali had asked me if I would write the foreword to one of his books, of which he has written 14, which is quite remarkable. Uh, highly technical subjects dealing with software development, project management, system development lifecycle in terms of uh, so software engineering and development, quality assurance processes, and quality control of products. So very, very well-rounded technical background. He ran his own consulting company for many, many years working with software development and project management. And I would say that he is one of the consummate professionals that I have met in my life. I have, was in the field myself for about 47 years and am now retired. And as is Morali, we, uh, we've had a very, very nice, long collaboration, both as professionals and he became my personal friend. And the reason was this, is that he has very rare qualities of being not only intellectual, very smart, very sharp, with a vast variety of knowledge in the technology field, very detailed, and able to put those ideas into practice. He's written 14 books, of which are on Amazon. I only wrote one, more of an autobiography than anything technical. However, I am a published author in technical journals worldwide. And as a matter of fact, that is one of the areas that Morali and I had collaborated in, where he introduced me to the editor, or one of the editors of the um, Software Society, Society of India, Computer Society of India. <clears throat> and the Computer Society of India published on three separate occasions articles, technical articles that I wrote. And as a result of that, I also got to know Morali even more from a more from a professional point of view at that time. Over the years, he and I became close personal friends. And the reason for that is, is that Morali has a very rare gift. He is not only intellectually and technically brilliant, but he has also got a good heart. He's a good human being. I have noted in him the qualities of both compassion, of, of friendliness, of the ability to empathize with others and to share his knowledge and wisdom unhesitatingly with anyone. Always a cheerful attitude, can-do attitude. Whatever he starts, he finishes, and he does it in a quality fashion. These are, these are qualities that I admire in a human being. I try most of, if not all of my life, to embody those qualities in my own life. And I recognize them when they are present in others. In addition to the intellect and the, just a good-hearted individual, Morali is also a Sanskrit scholar and very well-versed in all the major Hindu scriptures uh, and able to articulate the essence and meaning of those scriptures, even whether it's in English or whether it's in Sanskrit, in great detail. I also have a background in philosophy and Eastern studies. So he and I also had a point of meeting in that area, 
which I thoroughly enjoyed since he and I have a lot of the same drive underneath that professional way of making a living. Each of us in our own way has the questions of what is life about? What is, what is the source or essence of life? How are we alike more as human beings than we are different? What makes us the same? Is there any underlying reality or factor that is common to all creation, human beings, dogs, cats, planets? Is there something? And if so, can we get in touch with it? And I think both Murali and I, from our own angles of view, do our best not only to exhibit more of that connectedness within ourselves, but also try to share that with others to the extent that we can and others want to know. So it's a, it's a very rare individual <clears throat> who, ha who has this panoramic view of life that Morali has. And it's been a, an honor to, to be his friend and to know him for all these years because I know of only a few, two or three people in my entire life who I have met and I've traveled the world and he is unique. He is a real blessing to this world and he is a gift to his friends. I am proud to call him my friend. I am very grateful that he is my friend <clears throat> because I have learned a great deal from him. And interacting with him is, is so effortless. It's so easy because he's such an even personality. <clears throat> he, it's not that he, he doesn't have you know, highs and lows, but he is able to monitor and moderate and stay in the context of any given situation. And that also is rare without being drug off in tributaries and sidebar discussions. He stays focused and that also I appreciate. So <clears throat> I guess in summary, Morali is a a gift, a very rare person who, as I said, I am honored to call my friend. And anyone who has the fortunate to meet him can count their blessings because they're meeting a rare, gifted, and good human being. So that's really about all I have to say. And I hope that in some small way, I can give you a, a shadow of a picture of my friend, Murali Chamaturi. God bless him and you all. Hello, my name is Chris. Um, I live in California. I good friends with Mr. Murali. I met him almost 20 years ago in countrywide he was um, a team working with us and then um, i met him uh, from my other friends and then we have a group sometimes we go for lunch or something and he always so kind with us and he's such a nice person um, mr morali always uh, help and until today we always um, text uh, or call sometime and have fun and if I need a something or I feel so depressed he always be there for me or for my family um, he has a nice wife and a beautiful family children and grandchildren but the more important he he has a wonderful heart and one wonderful spirit and thank God for the person and friends I have. And he put it to me. Um, he helped me when I was over breast cancer. And he always be in touch. And also when I needed something, um, some words or 
I don't know, something gave me motivation. And when I talk to him and he texts me and, and he says some words, sometimes you wanted to hear and sometimes you don't want it. You don't have anybody to tell you. But he always so kind and, and, and say sometimes what you needed to hear. And that was the most important. And sometimes I say, well, you can be my dad, my brother, my friend, uh, but I really appreciate everything. Um, he talked to me or he tell me. Um, I, like I say, it's, it's, it's a person with soul, with wonderful heart and, and feelings and kindness, and he helped everybody. Namaste. It is my privilege to talk about my mentor, guide, and guru, Sri Murali Krishna Chamuturi Garu. I think uh, I know him right from 1988. He is an author of many books, software or spiritual. He is honest, kind-hearted, helpful, knowledgeable, spiritual, and so on. You may find any adjectives are insufficient to describe him. What I am today is because of him. Whenever I was in trouble, either with personal problems or professional related, he was like God's an angel to pull me out of my troubles. He helps everyone without attaching any conditions. I wish him long life and good luck to him and his family. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ranil. I work for Murli Sar in uh, 2003 and 2004. I would like to share my experience and my journey with Murli Sar. I believe he has a strong um, experience in software technologies and he has done great achievements in his life. He's pioneer in IT field in Hyderabad. Lately, I'm also seeing him very active in YouTube, contributing to um, Hindu mythology. Um, it, it always amazes me what he has been doing. Uh, he's um, still great inspiration to me. And he has been my mentor since day one. He was very honest with everyone in the company. Gave us open feedback, facilitated uh, room for new ideas, gave us uh, um, a free hand to learn new things and uh, it was a great working environment that helped us to learn uh, uh, faster and also we delivered a very successful uh, products early on and uh, very importantly it pushed my confidence levels and um, I've also learned a lot of uh, important aspects for KJ building and overall, the experience gave me a great foundation for my career. Very comfortable person. Um, I still remember how he single-handedly um, done all marketing activities for the Chamtari consultants. And he used to send newsletters to all the companies in India, overseas, and, uh, and also parallelly preparing the demos and then creating the roadmap for, um, for all our products so that we can continue with our developments. So overall, I um, have learned um, other aspects of the software business from him, not just um, technical skills. Another thing I noticed that he respects everyone in the company, no matter whether it's small or senior person, particularly who has commitment to the work, who are hardworking and passionate to the what they're doing. He was very empathetic to everyone in the company, nice to everyone in the company. He has taken good care of all employees, to be honest. And he always gave us good career advices. No I'm very fortunate that I met um, Murli Sar in the beginning of my career and uh, had my career launched through him and uh, his company. I strongly feel that I wouldn't be he where I am today without um, his help and mentorship. And I'm very happy to see him still active and carrying the same energy levels 
as before. And all the best, sir. Keep going. I wish you, you and um, Madam, very healthy and happy times ahead.